head high, chest up, and catch that frame, cause beauty is my name. What up, beauty gang? Happy and Beauty here, and today I'm bringing you guys another Instagram baddie natural hair and makeup tutorial. It's been a fat minute since I've done this video and I realized the more I'm getting into makeup and stuff, why not include my beauty gang on the journey? So that's what I'll be doing today featuring my October BoxyCharm box. For those of you guys who don't really know what BoxyCharm is, it's basically a beauty subscription box brand that sends you four to five full-size name brand products every month for only $25, sis. And I will be showing you my four to five full-size name brand products today in this video. So, I'll be giving you more details throughout the video on BoxyCharm as I go on, but for now, I just wanna say, Welcome to all new beauty game members, all OG beauty game members, all beauty game members who don't even know they're beauty game members yet until the end of this video. Welcome. And I really hope you guys are ready for the slayage, sis, because without further ado, let's hop into this video. All right, so as my OG beauty game members know, I love to lay them edges, and that's the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do with the Style Factor Edge Booster in the color Sweet Peach. I definitely say this is like a staple edge control for me that typically lasts me throughout the whole day if I lay my edges correctly. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and lay my edges first because got a surprise for my OG beauty game member. Well, I can tell y'all now. I am going to be throwing on some foundation with today's look, y'all. But I want to make sure my edges are laid first because I don't want them to look cakey because the foundation gets mixed with it I just don't like the way that looks at all so I'm about to go ahead and do it my way And then we're gonna go ahead and hop into the makeup part, but yeah for now Let me lay my edges. All right edges have been laid now I'm about to secure them with my scarf let those set while I go ahead and start my makeup. Alrighty, so now I'm gonna go ahead and throw on my foundation. And I actually have a new foundation that was recently sent to me. It's a multi-purpose foundation stick that was sent to me by Juvia's Place. I actually mix two of the foundation sticks together and it gives me the perfect match to my complexion. So yeah, I'm gonna just go ahead and do some streak marks of both foundation sticks all over my face and then blend it in with a beauty blender and just watch y'all have flawless this foundation goes with my complexion. I know this is really weird slash different for my OG beauty game members to see because African Beauty never wore foundation before y'all. This is very much so a new thing that I decided to start partaking in in 2019 and it's definitely not an everyday thing. I don't think I'll ever be that type of girl but I'm learning to enjoy makeup a lot more and like playing with it and just every once in a while getting a little bit more glammed up than usual. It's kind of fun as a girl. Do y'all see how freaking nice this joint blends in with my complexion? Like Wow, I don't know much about foundation, but I feel like this foundation is doing what it's supposed to do and I'm here for it. I'm actually going to put a little bit of lighter concealer. This time it's from CoverGirl. I'm gonna go ahead and put this under my eyes to kind of give me a warmer look. I don't know if this is considered contouring or not, but I did it for my birthday and I really like how it turned out. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little under my eyes to kind of brighten up this look a little bit. And then like I keep saying, not an expert in foundation but I definitely have seen as of recently what it looks like when foundation hasn't been set with like a powder how it kind of like smears or melts a little bit it doesn't look cute I peeped so I do have this pretty vulgar translucent setting powder that was actually in a boxycharm box I had some months ago I go ahead and just put that onto my beauty blender and put it in the areas that typically like oil up or melt a little bit whatever you want to call it now if I'm doing Doing this right or not I really don't know but it's worked for me in the past however if there is a better way or a more proper way of doing this please don't hesitate to comment below and let me know all right so next is going to be the brows and I actually feel like I might have messed up just a little bit because I typically want to do my brows before putting on the foundation but I was talking so much I forgot so let's just hope these brows turn out correctly I'm gonna go ahead and use my NYX eye slash brow pencil in the color black brow Brown. Now as you guys are watching me do this, I'm going to go ahead and give you a little bit more info for those who are interested in BoxyCharm like I stated in the beginning of this video. Like I mentioned, BoxyCharm is $25 per month, but what I did not mention is the fact that the box is going to be valued over $125 plus worth of the products that are in it. So not only is that a steal, in addition to that, as of September, BoxyCharm is offering
bring a lot more benefits to their memberships. One of the things being customization, which is basically you'll be able to test complexion swatches starting this November for products to better match your skin tone. Another thing they're offering is for BoxyCharm subscribers to select one item in their box every month and Boxy Lux subscribers to select one of three items in their box every three months. Another thing, you can now add more beauty products to your box at member exclusive prices every month. And last but not least, more beauty and lifestyle product deals at up to 80% off will now be available every quarter with the next one being this coming November. Members only must have an active subscription in order to access that benefit. BoxyCharm is definitely stepping up their game from when I first began working with them and I'm so here for it. Definitely be sure to check out BoxyCharm. I do have a direct link in the description box below for you to go ahead and sign up. Also, another perk of signing up for BoxyCharm for the first time, if you're a new member, this month you are receiving a gift along with your BoxyCharm. Lord knows what it will be, but I like gifts, I don't know about you. If I could re-sign up to get that additional gift, I would definitely do that. But unfortunately, it doesn't work that way, so it's cool. I don't really feel like my brows look as great as they typically would, but they don't look as awful as I thought they were gonna turn out. Hopefully, this mellow tinted brow gel that was in my October BoxyCharm box will help spruce them up just a little bit. They sent me this tint brown gel in the color dark brown, and I'm just doing very light-handed strokes because I don't want it to mess up my brows. Alrighty, now that the brows are done, it's time to go in with the eyes. I'm actually going to use two different palettes. One that was sent to me and one that was in my October BoxyCharm box. The one that was sent to me was the Queen palette from Juvia's Place. And then I'm going to follow up with this Blushing Berries Dose of Color palette that was in my October BoxyCharm box. So starting with the Queen palette in the purple shade, I'm going to go ahead and tap my flat brush into it and put it over both of my eyes. And can I just say I love how pigmented this eyeshadow is like typically especially with matte eyeshadows I feel like it takes a long time to kind of build up whereas with this queen palette the purple shade in particular It does not take much at all for it to show up on my lid just a couple of pats Also something else is super dope about this eyeshadow too that I've kind of learned the terminology from watching other beauty gurus It doesn't have like any fallout as pigmented and vibrant as this purple shade is none of it has fallen out on the rest of my makeup which definitely helps a beginner like me because I low-key wouldn't know what to do so yeah all right so now after I've put the purple on the eyelids I'm gonna go in with this very black eyeshadow and put it on the outer quarters of my eye to give the look a little bit more dimension instead of it just being purple typically I will just do an eyeshadow color but I don't know I want to be a little bit extra hopefully I don't regret this so yeah gonna go ahead and use just a little bit of this blackberry very lightly tap it and very lightly put it on my lids because I don't want it to take away the purple I just want to give it a little bit more pizzazz. all right so now that my eyeshadow look is pretty much done I'm gonna go ahead and apply the lash glue to my lashes which are these INV 3d collection eyelashes that I got from my local beauty supply store now while I allow my lash glue to get tacky I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this purple Hollywood and vine eyeliner that was also in my October BoxyCharm box and what inspired this purple look to begin with and then to actually finish off my eyes because I want them to pop a little bit more I'm gonna go back in with this very black eyeshadow this time with an angled brush and use it as an eyeliner on both my bottom and top lash line and then final touches to the eyes before putting on the lashes is using this bad girl bang mascara from benefit cosmetics and now I'm gonna put on my falsies Now it's time to throw on some highlight. I love me some highlight. I'm going to use my Beauty Bakery loose illuminator and glazed. Then last and final touches is my lips. I'm going to go ahead and use my NYX pencil and espresso to line my lips. And then for my lip gloss, I'm going to use the iconic London lip plumping gloss in the color Love Struck, which is a pale pink nudish type of color. And then on top of that, I'm going to apply my dose of color lip gloss in the color The Most like a holographic type of shimmer gloss which is going to help to pop my lips just a little bit more and now my makeup is complete i don't think your girl did too shabby honey i don't think so all right on to the hair 
Yes, edges are laid. However, I need to go ahead and go in with my beauty blender and kind of fix it up a little bit because you can kind of see, not even kind of, you can see where the foundation is and where it isn't. Uh, I'm not going to reapply any more foundation though, I'm just going to use what's on my beauty blender. Now to finish off this look, I'm going to use the last product in my October BoxyCharm box, which is this iconic London Prep Set and Glow Mist. It's said to spray about 12 inches away from your face, and it just gives the most beautiful glow ever, y'all. Like. Alrighty, beauty gang, so that concludes my Instagram baddie natural hair and makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section below, my OG beauty game members, do y'all think this is the best Instagram baddie video I've done? Because I personally am feeling this look. I feel like this is giving off nothing but Instagram baddie vibes like I'm feeling myself I'm not even gonna lie I definitely think this is my favorite one of all time if you guys would like me to continue doing Instagram baddie natural hair and makeup tutorials be sure to give this video a thumbs up and also comment that below to let me know because I will keep them coming for you guys it's not enough natural hair baddies represented okay and I will be that for y'all if you need me to so yeah again I want to shout out boxy charms October box be sure to click the link in the description box below if you're interested in getting your own and becoming a member because clearly boxy charm is lit okay it's almost as what is beauty gang but not quite there but you know it's worth it i love boxy charm and i look forward to receiving mine every month so a direct link will be in the description box below for your beauty gang members who are interested and uh that's all i have for you guys really hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe if you are new beauty gang is clearly lit and until next time guys bye one time if you're confident Slap two times cause you're on me Never gave a damn about what they say Cause you handle all your business on a day by day Head high, chest up, and catch that frame Cause beauty is your name